Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new video of how to action verbs. Today, we want to start to learn how to compare. First of all, comparison means showing the differences and similarities between two or more elements or items. Comparison has two types. First type is qualitative and the second type is quantitative. When we say qualitative comparison, we mean to compare qualities or aspects of elements or items. While if you are going to uh, make a quantitative comparison, it means to compare values and numbers. The qualitative comparison first contains the two items being compared. We have to mention them. The aspect or quality being compared. What are we comparing? And finally, keywords for comparison such as while, however, etc. These three uh, elements of the comparison should be present, all of them. Take an example. Here we have uh, the figure of the internal wall of two individual, uh, one normal individual and another individual having a disease called celiac disease in his intestine. The question says compare the aspect of the inner wall of the small intestine in these two individuals. First of all, aspect means how does it look? What are its uh, features? Okay. Now, if we notice here, we see that there are three things uh, different between both items. First of all, the internal wall. Here they say it's full. Here they say it's flattened. The second thing is the uh, villi. Here they say it's normal. And here they say it's damaged. And the final thing is intestinal cells. Here in the normal individual, they say it's normal. And in the sick individual, they say it is bad. So let's pay attention. We're not comparing one thing. We're comparing three things here. Let's see this comparison. We say in a normal individual, the internal wall is folded. It has normal villi and normal intestinal cells. We put while. In a person with celiac disease, the internal wall is flattened. It has damaged villi and damaged intestinal cells. Do you think this way is correct? Of course not. This is not correct. Okay? We should not uh, put all the uh, aspects, all the characteristics together and hear all of them together and just add the word while between them. The correct comparison has to be parallel or we compare each aspect to itself. Yani we compare the internal wall here with the internal wall. When we're done, we compare the villi with the villi. Then when we're done, we compare the, the intestinal cells with the intestinal cells. This is a very important point. So let's see now how the comparison is. First, in a normal individual, the internal wall is folded while in a person with celiac disease, the internal wall is flat. This is the first thing. We're done. The first sentence. Now we go to the second sentence. A normal individual has normal villi, while a person with celiac disease has damaged villi. This is the second characteristic. The third characteristic with the third sentence. A normal individual has normal intestinal cells, while a sick or a person with celiac disease has damaged intestinal cells. So, remember always we compare each thing with, with itself between the two individuals or the two samples. Okay? Now, let's see the second type of comparison, which is the quantitative comparison. The quantitative comparison, of course, also contains the two items being compared. What are we comparing? The values or numbers corresponding to each element, what value related to it, and finally the keyword for comparison. Now here you have to pay attention very much. When we are comparing quantitative comparison or numbers, we don't use while or however. We have to use other keywords which are more than, less than, equal, because we are comparing numbers and values. Let's see an example. We have this table showing the amount of uh, certain substances entering the muscle and leaving the muscle, uh, like uh, gas, carbon dioxide, and glucose. The question here, compare the composition of the 
battery gases and blood entering and leaving the muscle during activity. First of all, we have to read the question very well to see what are we going to compare. Compare the composition of respiratory gases. They didn't say compare the composition of all these substances in the table, only respiratory gases. And when they talk about respiratory gases, we know that they mean oxygen gas and carbon dioxide. So once again, here we have two things that we have to compare. We have the oxygen gas, okay? Two numbers of the oxygen gas, and we have the carbon dioxide. So how can we compare these? We have this suggested answer. Let's say we say that the quantity of oxygen gas in the blood entering the muscle, 20 milliliter, is less than that um, uh, in the uh, of carbon dioxide, which is 49 uh, milliliter, and then the quantity of oxygen gas in the blood leaving the muscle is 30 milliliter, is less than that in the uh, oxygen, which is 53 milliliter. Sorry, carbon dioxide. Is this comparison correct? Of course not, because we don't have uh, any benefit from comparing oxygen gas to carbon dioxide. We can't uh, be, uh, compare between them. Uh, this comparison makes no sense. It will, lead us, it, it will lead us to nothing. So we don't compare, compare oxygen gas to carbon dioxide. As we said earlier, we have to compare each thing to itself, every item to itself. So we compare oxygen gas and the blood entering the muscle to that in the blood leaving the muscle. Now let's see another suggested answer. We have now, we decided to compare oxygen gas in the blood entering the muscle to that in the blood leaving the muscle, and carbon dioxide in the blood entering the muscle to that leaving the muscle. Let's see if it's correct. The quantity of oxygen gas in the blood entering the muscle is 20 milliliter, while that in the blood leaving the muscle is 30 milliliter. And the quantity of carbon dioxide in the blood entering the muscle is 49, while that in the bleed, uh, leaving the muscle is 53 milliliters. Is this comparison correct? Does it meet our standards that we said in the, uh, earlier in this slide? Of course not. Why? Because the keyword we used is wrong. We shouldn't use here while because this comparison is quantitative and not qualitative. We are comparing numbers. We are comparing values. So let's see the correct way to compare here. We have to say the quantity of oxygen gas in the blood entering the muscle, 20 milliliter, don't forget to mention the numbers, is more than that in the blood leaving the muscle, which is 13 milliliter. And the quantity of carbon dioxide in the blood entering the muscle, 49 milliliter, is less than that in the blood leaving the muscle, which is 53 milliliter. This is the correct way to compare. Okay, we have to mention first to choose what we compare correctly. We compare each item to itself. Okay, second, we have to pick the numbers, the values of each item, and we have to use the correct keyword, which is more than, less than, or equal. I hope you understood this lesson. Thanks for your attention.